Hello, my name is Scott and I'm with Diagnostic Imaging Services. I'm coming to you today from a little bit of a different perspective. You may have seen me in some of the other videos that we've done here at DIS, but today I'm talking to you as a patient of Diagnostic Imaging Services versus an associate. For you see, men and their families may be interested in this short presentation because I myself had a prostate 3T MRI at DIS, and some people felt that maybe sharing my experiences would be helpful to those that are either considering a prostate MRI, or perhaps have been recommended for one, or are evaluating between having an MRI or perhaps a prostate biopsy. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I encountered and what you can expect if you come visit DIS for your prostate study. I want to make sure that everyone understands that I'm not a doctor and I'm not clinically trained or have that type of background. I'm simply a patient of DIS in this particular conversation. The first thing I think that guys should know is that you should plan for about 90 minutes, about an hour and a half total, from the time you arrive at DIS to the time that you leave. We do prostate MRI studies at two of our centers on Veterans Memorial Boulevard in Metairie and also on Avenue C in Marrero. Our prostate MRIs are all done on a 3T or 3 Tesla ultra high field MRI. That's the preferred method of undergoing an MRI study of this type. The way that I came about to have a prostate study was that in my last physical, my lab work came back and my PSA level was above normal. I was referred to a urologist and when I went in for the checkup, there was nothing that was found to be suspicious or of clinical concern to the doctor. So he recommended me going on a 30-day antibiotic and then having my lab work redone to see what my PSA level would be after that. And if it still was above normal, then we may evaluate whether to have an MRI or a biopsy. In the meantime, DIS in Metairie uh, installed a second 3T MRI. It's actually a mobile MRI that is parked in the back of our uh, location on Veterans Memorial Boulevard. And I was asked to be a test patient, as I had done before in uh, past years, uh, when we installed a new piece of equipment to go through some testing protocols and how sequences work and so on. So when they asked me, I went and talked to a radiologist and also to our clinic manager and said, well, I happen to have this going on health-wise. Would you want to do a full-blown actual 3T MRI for the prostate, and they agreed. So I was all set to go. The first thing, um, or one of the other things that you should really know, is that this study does include the use of a contrast agent. The actual uh, name of the exam is called an MRI of the pelvis with and without contrast. The billing code for the test is 72197. Now, our prostate 3T MRI does not use an endorectal coil. Some other imagers may use that. It's an invasive device that is inserted into a man's rectum in order for the MRI to acquire its images. We don't use that. At Diagnostic Imaging Services, we use what's called a pelvic coil, which is just as the name indicates, it goes around your pelvic uh, region, and that uh, allows the, uh, the system to acquire the uh, images for the radiologist. The test itself, um, if I remember correctly, probably the first 40, maybe even 45 minutes of the test, there was no contrast agent used. During that time, though, I do remember, there were probably five or six occasions where the technologist was giving me instructions on doing breath holds. So he told me to breathe in and hold. And I would hold for about five to 10 seconds, and then I'd be able to breathe out. Then came the time for the contrast agent. Before I went into the MRI, a port was put into my vein in my right hand, and then I was told, okay, now the contrast agent is going to be administered. And what I felt as a sensation was a, a small trickle of ice water coming into my vein. It certainly didn't hurt, and it wasn't bothersome at all. Then the rest of the study was done with the use of the agent, and then before you know it, my 60 minutes or so were up, and I was done. Now, some have asked, how do I pass the time when I'm in the MRI? Well, the first thing I do when I go into a 3T MRI, which is, a, which is a conventional closed MRI tube, is I close my eyes. And I keep them closed the entire time. I don't ever open them. 
when I'm in the MRI, you can kind of tell when the machine's doing its banging and pinging and knocking sounds. That's when the images are being acquired. So I hold still as best I can. It's really important to make like a mannequin because you don't want blurred images. That's going to be very hard, if not impossible, for the radiologist to review. So what I also do is, because I've been in the MRI a number of times uh, for other tests, there are certain sequences that you can identify, and it kept my mind busy. Sometimes you can listen to music, but I prefer just kind of listen to the machine. So you could hear 10 banging noises and six pinging noises and eight knocking noises, and they would kind of repeat and repeat and repeat. I just kind of kept my mind busy as a kind of a silly little game I was playing to pass the time. So the test is all done. I'm coming out of the MRI machine and I can go back to work and resume my normal course in my day. And you should be able to do that as well unless you've been administered Valium as a sedative. Then someone will have to drive you home so you can rest and recover. Now, it takes about a week, maybe a little bit longer, for the test results to get to your doctor. That's because DIS does something unique that to our knowledge, nobody else does in our area, which is at least two and sometimes three radiologists will read each prostate study. They'll do it by themselves, look at it over, draw their conclusions and impressions and their findings, and then they come together collectively to discuss each case and then issue a final comprehensive report to your doctor. Part of that report, in fact, perhaps the most important part of the report, is what's called the PIRAD score. PIRAD stands for Prostate Imaging Reporting and Data Systems. It's a ranking from one to five of areas in and around the prostate gland that are being looked at for possible clinical concern. One being very low, really no significance of anything going on, to five being highly suspicious of possible cancer. In my case, my ranking was two, a low significance, low clinically significant uh, possibility of prostate cancer. However, it was diagnosed that I had a mild form or mild case of prostatitis, which if I remember, remember correctly, is a fancy medical term for an inflamed or enlarged prostate. And sure enough, after my 30-day antibiotic was done, I went ahead and got my lab work done again, and my PSA returned to normal. So I had a great outcome. And of course, I hope for all you guys out there that you'll have the similar or same type of outcome. So that's my story. That's really it. Those are the types of things that you will expect and you will encounter when you come to DIS for your prostate 3T MRI. I can assure you, you'll be in excellent hands. And your, and your urologist or your primary care provider, whoever ordered the test, I think will be very pleased at the results they get. We perform prostate 3T MRI at 4241 Veterans Memorial Boulevard, Suite 100 in Metairie, and 925 Avenue C in Marrero. Thank you for watching, and until next time, remember, Diagnostic Imaging Services is doctor-trusted and patient-preferred, and oh yes, still simply consider the best.